about a massacre of last surviving Indian first in the county. Well, if they massacred people, then they deserve to be cursed. Of course. But what was it? What was it? Just bad luck or bad weather or something else? Something about an eagle or an owl. A grave site. I didn't really get it. I think it sounds very interesting. You busy, Arthur? Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train. Pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Javier? I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. Well, they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. The best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me.
There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> Look, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? your binoculars. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. Time one's mouth. Creeper spin. Don't score notions in the dicky Fleming's head. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can holly gag all day now, day long. Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam! You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. Take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see.
see any more of them. All right, quick. Let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Slow up. 